Hey, if you haven't already watched my guide walkthrough of Astra, where I explain her kitten abilities, I suggest you do that now. You can find that video on my channel. Alright, let's get the video started. These are five tips and tricks that you should know when you play Valorant's newest controller character, Astra. Start with talking about her most crucial ability, her stars. Right you can there. place your stars during freeze time. They will not appear or be visible to the enemy team until two seconds before the round. Three seconds before the round start, there will also be a sound cue play as the stars spawn in. They'll be invisible, but once the round has actually started, the enemy will be able to see them. You can use this to pre-play stars for rushes or fake rushes immediately as the round starts without giving away any information to the enemy team as what you're trying to do. Keep in mind that giving them information can also be used to give them fake information. While they can see the stars, they can't break them. So if you want to fake a B push, you can place a lot of stars on B site and then simply recall them when you need them. As for tip number two, a lot of people in the playtest didn't know this, but Astra's smoke ability actually is two different abilities put into one. You can pop your smoke like normal, but you can also recall the star and pop a fake smoke. This can be super useful in more ways than one. Not only do you get the star back, but you do get a short-term momentary smoke. You can use this, for instance, on Haven, A Lobby, and Offense. Characters like Jet and Cypher usually do this, but they have to actually use an ability to do it. When you want to smoke A Lobby Cross, you have to use your Jet Smoke, and it consumes the smoke for the round, or you throw your Cypher Cage, and it consumes the cage for the round. Astra, however, can use a fake smoke to recall the star, and by doing that, you have plenty of time to actually cross over A Lobby into short, or just start by doing that every single round so you don't even have to miss an ability. This can be used to actually insert a lurker into sewer or make sure that they are scared that there is someone in there. Even if no one uses the smoke to cross, the enemy team can't see through it either way. Even though it's a very short term duration smoke, it doesn't actually consume an ability, so it's always worth doing. You can also use these on pushes, where if, for instance, if you want to push a site and you have two smokes, you want to smoke one side and fake smoke the other side and just be ready for the smoke to disappear and catch the person on the other side of the smoke by surprise for a free kill. The third tip is going to be about Gravity Well and Nova Pulse. These two abilities will go through walls, roofs, and floors, and almost anything as long as people are in range. As you can see, as long as people are in range of the ability from where the star is placed, it doesn't matter if there is a thick wall, a wooden thin wall, if you can wall bang it or not, or even if it's above or below you. The abilities will work through walls, roofs, and floors very, very similarly, and this can be used in a way where Maybe you want to be able to stun someone. Maybe someone's playing a cub and you want to make sure that they can't play there, but you don't want to give them the heads up that you're about to do an ability on them by using a star. This way, you can place the star on the other side of the object or wall and stun them through it. This can be super useful for mind games especially, like if you're pushing a scent hell or pushing a scent heaven, you can put the star on top or below to stun through it. You can pick if you want them to see the star or if you just want them to be scared of the effect because the star was placed above or underneath them. I can see some absolutely crazy plays being made with this. As we did number four, this is about Gravity Well and planting the bomb. You can use Gravity Well to pull a planter outside of the site to cancel the plant. Here's an example on Icebox. This is a very common strat. Stages are played on this map all the time where you run up, you put the wall down on either site, you plant just barely inside the site perimeter. You can cancel this plant with just a Gravity Well. You can place it preemptively or as a reaction. While tip number five is basically just the effect of an ability, Asher's ultimate, Cosmic Divide, there are some really cool plays you can make with this. As it said in the tooltip of Cosmic Divide, it heavily dampens audio. This means, especially for Yeoman players out there, and raised double satchel shock and old players, you can make some absolutely crazy plays with your ashes on your team. You can place the walls and use the wall as a way of just making sure that people cannot hear you teleport or cannot really hear you satcheling in when you pop your ultimate and make sure people are terrified of where you're gonna come from. The wall will go through the entire map, so when a raise pops an ult, you don't know if they're gonna push you in garage, maybe they're pushing A site, maybe they're pushing you C long, and since you don't hear the satchels, it's very difficult to properly position yourself to avoid it. The same goes with the TP. While there is a very faint sound, it's very hard to really understand if the teleport is coming close to you or somewhere else. This can be used with Omen Ultimate as well as the normal TP to just TP in and get a kill. I'm talking to you, miss. It's also good to know that the wall stops bullets from going through. You can see when someone shoots at the wall, but abilities will still go through it. So if you want to send an omen flash or even your raise nade or raise rocket through the wall, they will all pass through normally. Also, huge shout out to my friend Noisy for helping me come up with these tips and helping me record a lot of them. You can find his socials in the description or on the screen right here. Check him out. He's a great guy. I hope you enjoyed these tips. And if you're watching as the video gets uploaded, I'll probably be live on Twitch right now, streaming the playtest, playing the new character. So if you have any questions, just tune in to twitch.tv slash Mendo and my chat's open to anyone. Have a great day, guys. Peace.